Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to my channel, Pearls and Ponderings. Welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. My pronouns are she, her, and this is a channel about cross-stitch, mostly. Uh, maybe some other crafts, a couple, we've got a bit of knitting and a bit of embroidery today as well. Um, grab yourself a cuppa, grab your stitching, your embroidery, your knitting, whatever you fancy, and join me. This probably won't be too long. The small child did go to sleep and has woken up again, so she's downstairs playing for five um, and I am surrounded by piles of whips, new starts, some stitchy kindness, um, some new acquisitions. Um, so we'll see where this takes us. We're gonna start with some fully finished thing, well one, two fully finished things. Um, both are gonna have to be inserted because I have neither of them with me. Uh, the first is a bag that I made for my sister-in-law. It was made from a pattern by Anila Hoy. Uh, sorry for the noise, just remember the pattern is here. It is, sorry for the glare, um, the open, open out box pouch. Um, and I've made two of these now. I made one for my other sister-in-law last year. Um, and it's a really nice pattern. Sewing in a curved zip, not easy. Um, I will insert pictures of the finished bag with well, a little video here somewhere. Um, the fabrics for it were, I think, all from Extra Sewing Machine Company, which used to be my local sewing shop. Um, they did do some embroidery thread, um, they did DMC, but it was predominantly sewing machines and fabric. Um, saying I'm a lot. I apologise, but I used to love going there. It's now about a two hour drive away. So I go there when I can, if I'm down in Devon. Um, the pattern I got from the knitting and stitching show, like a couple of weeks before lockdown. Um, the other thing I finished were my Little Wind socks by Merry Little Makes. Um, they're slightly shorter, I will insert pictures, um, slightly shorter necessarily than most patterns but I needed to finish, I needed to finish something um, and I did a slightly different cast, rib and cast off, it was supposed to have a really pretty cuff um, but I was trying to do them in the car on the way back from our holiday. Um, I realise it's actually been three months since I last filmed which was definitely not my intention. Um, But, but life happens and it was the summer and um, things happen. It was a bit of a sad summer, we lost my grandfather um, and then we went on holiday to uh, my friend Monica's wedding which was amazing um, and then we had a week in France as well. Um, so it was really nice, lovely to get away, great food. Uh, I managed to get a little bit of stitching done, not a huge amount. Um, the small human has learnt to crawl and pull herself up on everything, so now nothing is safe. Um, and I'm having to think about my storage all over again because I like crafts that involve pointy things. And she likes anything she shouldn't really be touching. Um, so those are my two fully finished objects. And then I have some other finishes, they're all smalls. Um, I've discovered I actually really love working on smalls because I finish them reasonably quickly. Uh, so if you've watched my previous videos you'll have seen January, February and March of the hour year. Uh, it was Sal uh, in reasonably early 2021. Um, I've altered the pattern to make it individual and translated it into Welsh. So I had done January, February, March, and these are April, May, and June. 
and I'm really pleased with them. I think they look lovely. Um, they're on 18 count vintage country mocha by Zweigart. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to finish them yet, so if anyone's got any ideas or suggestions, please let me know. I want to swap them out as the year goes on. Um, you'll notice that I have a few seasonal things, definitely have them in my stash or in my plans, so a lot of them may be in my head. Um, but seasonal things that I want to have framed in the same way and just switch stuff out through the year, so um, it's always a little bit fresh. Here's my plan, we'll see. Um, I have to finish things first. Um, and the other finish was supposed to be a an exchange at the Floss Friends retreat that I went to last weekend, which was amazing. Um, and I'll talk more about that later. Look at the camera. Uh, but I didn't finish it in time. Finished the six, stitching six weeks ago. Um, didn't manage to fully finish it. And so I've decided I will finish it and keep it for myself. Or maybe I'll give it away. We'll see. Uh, but this is what I did. Um, it's going to be a needle book. It's way too bright. Um, there we go. That's about right on the colours. It was a really lovely little pattern to stitch. It's done on 32 count even weave. It's one of the lakeside ones. I don't know if you can see. It's got kind of a leaf, autumn leaf pattern on it um it's from a year or two ago i've been in their fabric club for a little while um but it was lovely to stitch so that might appear as a fully finished object at some time but this is not that time so on to the whips Had quite a few new starts we're going to do whips first so the chessboard got a little bit of work on it nowhere near as much as i'd initially planned to but life progress is progress i think last time i showed it hey there we go i think i've done all of this side up here and i've now gone just over halfway down the second side it's a repetitive border and Sometimes I get really into it, and sometimes I'm not so into it. Um, it'll get finished. My husband is a very patient man. This was supposed to be a Christmas present three years ago. We'll get there eventually. Uh, the other thing that came out briefly was my library fairy, Hade. It's a Hannah Lynn design. I'm doing the no background, but I got this glorious printed fabric from Cross Stitch Bunny Shop. Um, I'll link her below. She's really lovely. I love her floss tube. Um, I will insert a picture of what it will look like. I've decided to do all of the black outline first and I think I've done ah, some of this here. I can't remember where I was before. If I remember I'll insert a picture. Um, but I'm trying to do minimal editing this time. We'll see how that goes. So I've definitely done this bit before. Now there's more. Um, I really like working on it. But I really like working on most of my stuff so that's why the smalls have been quite nice I think because I've finished them quite quickly. Um, and I can't have these out like I did before when I just leave it on my frame so I could do a few stitches if I found time in passing. Um, then we have a load of new starts. So I'm trying to remember what I've said before because I actually filmed floss tube number three about a month ago, but the sound was so appalling that I couldn't use it. And the lighting was awful too, so I can't remember what I said in which video. However, if you also watch the Diddy Stitcher, Helen, um, then you'll have seen that we are doing a year of sales, because why not? Um, some are stitch-alongs rather than 
start-alongs, some of them are start-alongs, um, including September and October. So I'll show you those first. Um, September, we decided to do Sleeping Bee September Sal, um, which is Sleeping Bee by the Blue Flower. Excuse the noise. Uh, this is Sleeping Bee. Apologies for the glare. Um, it's beautiful. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Um, I got the pattern and kitted it up with all the carved for which are Weeks Dye Works classic colour works and a couple of gentle arts. Um, and it's stitched 40 count on 40 count champagne linen, uh, two of one over two. Oh, yeah, I need something behind that. Um, the needle minder was a bit of stitchy kindness from Helen. It's a really good magnet, came from Hello Treacle, um, who's also excellent. Oh, again, linked below. Um, I haven't done very much. Uh, it's quite a lot of counting. And it takes a little bit to get into. I'm not enjoying it quite as much as I thought I would. Um, but I'll get back to it. Uh, I also have the Tudor Bee and the Quilting Bee. Also, both patterns from Create Nostalgia. Did I say that? All from Create Nostalgia. Um, which is an amazing little shop up near Mould in Wales. If you get the chance to visit, do. It's the most amazing place and Mary is wonderful. Um, this pattern is stored in um, a bag I bought at the retreat on the weekend. Um, hedgehoggy fabric, final fronted um, from not enough whip bags, I think. Um, really nicely made and I wanted a smaller whip bag for, for my bees particularly. The other bees I'm going to pop in here when I go through the box. Uh, just checking my notes. Uh, I can't remember whether I'd shown you this or whether I've done any more since I showed it, if I haven't shown it. But this is the I'm Not Coming Stitches RSVP by... I can't remember, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, I started this with Charlie Feathers, uh, who again, another Insta uh, on Instagram and uh, another floss tuber that I love. Um, and I'm excited because I'm gonna get to meet her at a retreat in February. Um, this one is on, again, a 32 count even weave from Lakeside Needlecraft. It's one of their exclusive fabric flare um ones and this is called smoky oaky uh this is all two over two except the writing which is one over one and i really enjoyed the one over one uh worked on it quite a lot and then it went away and i don't quite know why i put it away but i did it'll come out again and then we have uh, the second in mine and Helen's Year of Sal's is Autumn Queen October Sal. You're welcome to join in with us uh, on Mirabilia's Autumn Queen. Here she is. Or any other uh, autumnal queen, goddess, fairy. Um, that's not focusing very well. Um, the pictures on these really don't do the colours justice. Helen has had an amazing start. Go and check out her um, floss tube. Um, apparently I got some chocolate on the edge of the linen that I'm using. This is on a white Belfast linen, I think, maybe. I don't know my linens very well. Um, I've had a very funny start. It's this very pale pink bit that uh, we decided, I can't, just about, uh, we decided it looks a bit like a leaping cat. Um, I did the outline so I could do some filling in in the 
at the retreat and I didn't do very much because I mostly worked on July for my year of sales instead. Um, little hedgehog needle minder there is from Cross Stitch Bunny Shop. Uh, I will do more work on her, she definitely needs to be on a big frame. She's too big for me to hold even in a bigger frame. Um, so yeah, the last of my new starts was July um, and I made loads of progress on this at the retreat. I've just got some beads to add now and the middle of these flowers and this one will be done as well. Um, further behind than I hoped to be with the series but I'm glad to be making some progress on it now. It's a lovely little travel stitch this one. Um, the smallest of the nerd hoops is probably my favourite. The bigger ones I find don't hold the tension quite as well. Um, needle Minder was one made by Helen um, and she gave them out to everyone who attended the retreat um, and it works really well um, and it's a nice and small one for my small. Um, plan are to finish July, work on the Autumn Queen some more uh, and then cast on something with my knitting. Haven't quite decided what yet but on Tuesday next week I should be going to my knitting group so I'll decide on something by then and let you know next time. Um, then acquisition. I'm not going to show you all of the things I've collected over the last few months because I've been on a bit of a spending spree um, but I do want to show you some of the things that I got from the retreat and some of the things that I got from um, independent places and some lovely stitchy kindness. So first of all I kitted up Titania Queen of Fairies. Uh, she's... I'll insert a picture somewhere. Uh, called for Mill Hills, Krynek and Fabric from Create Nostalgia. Um, I'm tempted to do her as like a midwinter start. Don't know why because she's mentioned in Midsummer Night's Dream and, and things. Uh, so why I want to start her in the middle of winter I don't know other than the fact that she's a companion piece to Midsummer Night Fairy, which I also have, which I plan on starting for Midsummer. Um, why I'm starting all these giant pieces at the moment, having discovered I really like smalls, I don't know, but I am. So there we go. Uh, so that's that. I managed to find uh, in a D-Stash group, um, Adia? Adia? Uh, the Garden Fairy um, and I think she's just beautiful. I don't know when I'll stitch her but I will at some point. I do love the fairies um, and I'm on the lookout for Cottage Garden Fairy who is absolutely stunning and out of print and impossible to get hold of so if anyone sees a copy or has one that they're looking to get rid of for a not obscene amount of money, um, then please let me know. Uh, that's it. I did, I was looking out in my charity shops and I found this um, for a couple of pounds in one of the local charity shops. So uh, It's a full kit, so I will do that at some point because when we get our act together we have loads of maps. Um, and prints and things of places in Wales and we're going to do our stairs and landing with loads of big maps and things so I thought this would be a nice addition to that when I get around to it. Um, retreat acquisitions. Uh, this lovely tin, Emma Bridgewater tin I think it is, um, that was part of a D-stash uh, I picked up for a couple of pounds and is a really useful size. Uh, at the moment it's where all of the needle minders I collected 
uh, are this one I think is from Haystack Stitching I'll put the right name below this was the back of the one that Helen gave me uh, I swapped it out for a plain magnet because this can be one all by itself uh, this is some boobs it's a Hello Trickle one um, that Helen very kindly gave me uh, and then this lovely little cloud and I have a little star in the same style Basic Witch and this one which uh, put your hair up in a bun drink some coffee and handle it all came from UK Needleminders um, and I bought all of those other than the one from Helen uh, then uh, we had uh, some little goodie bags and some goodies handed out uh, by various people at the retreat. So uh, Sammy, little Lizzie Loop, Lizzie's Loops, little Loops handmade, um, who organised the event and did such an amazing job with Andrea, who's the curly haired stitcher, um, put in some floss drops some little spooky Halloween ones and some Christmas ones and some little witchy stickers and some little snowmen and then some really cute little charms I'm hoping they'll show up um, and I think it's Megan from Coffee Craft Fabrics um, uh, did some hand dyed floss for everybody um, and then I did some other bits of buying as well which were uh, there were two um, exclusive patterns with fabric um, the stitchy ferret did so there was uh, autumn jack with a, that's showing up pretty well. Uh, this is a 25 count even weave um, in this really cool green with um, a hand dyed cloth uh, that came with it. And then this autumn, autumn, awesome Father Christmas pattern by uh, Courtenian Creations. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. Um, and I got um, 32 count. Yeah, 32 count opalescent even weave. I don't normally go for sparkly fabric, um, but it's just so pretty. It's actually catching the shine on that. It's not, it's also a little shine from the paper, but it's catching the sparkle. Um, I'm really looking forward to starting that because I just think it's really nice. Um, we were also given a pattern, snowman pattern, but I can't show you that because it's just a pattern, um, by Haystack Stitching and I'm going to use the orange and the blue flosses for the scarf and the carrot on the snowman in that. Um, I'm going to try and find a red variegated gloss in my stash to do the hat and then just the snowman, but I've got to go through my stash to try and find an appropriate fabric for that. Uh, I'm also still getting the Lakeside Needlecraft Fabric of the Month. They're all 32 count even weaves. I can't remember which order these came in. This was either July, no, this was either August. I think this was August. Uh, this is Amber, which mm, it's a bit orangier, but it's showing up, it's picking up more of the. Uh, ah, there we go. That that's about right. Um, funny angle there. Um, sort of a greeny, grey, orangey, reddy mix. Um, and then topaz was September's, I think. And this is that's that's pretty true. It's quite a rainbow of colours. Um, and then. This one arrived this morning. This is Pearl, um, which is, try and catch the colour again. It, it's kind of a beigey 
quite a neutral colour. Um, I did see pictures of the opalescent one, and again, not normally an opalescent fan, but I think this one actually worked really well in opalescent, so a bit annoyed I didn't switch it out, but never mind. Um, they will get added to the stash to do stuff with at a later date. Um, via Helen, I picked up the Lavender and Lace Angel of Love, um, because this is part of our Year of Sowls next May, I think. I think this comes up in May. Um, again, the picture just really doesn't do the colours justice. Um, but I'm quite excited to start that. And I will have to make sure to make a working copy because they're really hard to follow. I'm so used to working in colour or on digital patterns now that it's really hard to follow uh, working on a paper pattern. Um, but I, I do like it not being a screen based thing because it's one of the reasons I stitch is to get away from the screen. Uh, one of my favourite acquisitions in the last... Oh, the other thing I got from... Stitchy Ferret was this very cool, I think this is called Cauldron, I think, uh, purple and black variegated yarn and there's like at least 10 metres, so it's, it's longer than your average skein. Um, so I'm looking forward to finding something to do that, I'll probably find a monochrome one to stitch. Again, suggestions, let me know. Um, and what have we got? Uh, slightly mundane but very useful. I picked up these, the pony tapestry needles, um, but they are colour coded. Um, so far they've been really nice to use as well, um, but I just find that quite useful. I'm not sure I'll use the 22s a huge amount. Um, but all of the other sizes I do use. Uh, so yeah, just quite useful to have um, some good needles. One of my favourite acquisitions though is the uh, Canny Little Travel Case from the Canny Little Fox. Uh, she's on Instagram and Etsy. I will link below if I can, um, if I can figure out how to do that. Um, but it's really lovely. Um, it's nice and firm. I've used it quite a bit this week. Uh, it's got a little um, like thread catchery bit up here and a bit of felt to pop your needles in. Uh, I picked up these lovely tiny stalk scissors from Haystack Stitching at the retreat. Um, I've got some tiny stitching in here that I will show you more hopefully next time. That's a bit of a surprise, so I'm keeping it relatively shush. Uh, and then uh, I picked up the X Stitch the Rainbow uh, Cottage Garden threads uh, to, to have a go with. Again, at some point, I'm going to try that as tiny stitching. Uh, but they feel lovely and the colours are beautiful. Uh, so, uh, and then there's a pocket here and a zipped vinyl pocket there. Uh, yeah, really lovely, really useful. Would 100% recommend and I want more. Her fabrics are gorgeous as well. Uh, they've been flying out, so if you see one you like, get it, because twice I have seen ones that I really, really like, and they've gone before I've been able to get them. Uh, on to some stitchy kindness. Right. Uh, a little while ago, I won a giveaway on Imogen X Stitches Floss Tube, and they very kindly sent me... Uh, Elegant Lace by uh, Works by ABC. They stitched this in black and it looks amazing. Uh, I'm not sure I want to do it in black 
but I don't know what fabric and what thread I want to use. It is designed to be a monochrome when it's done with a kind of two over one and a one over, well, sorry, two over two and a one over two. Or it does say you could use a floche instead of the um, two over two. But yeah, shoot me your suggestions in the comments. It's so pretty. So thank you very much Imogen for sending this. Uh, and go and check out their floss tube if you don't already because their stuff is really cool. Uh, and the birds always get hats. So uh, Helen, who is an, appears in my floss tube a lot now, uh, very very kindly sent me her rip dies that she finished with so that I could have a go at doing some dyeing. I haven't done any yet um, but she very kindly also included some uh, Hello Treacle stuff including the um, the multicoloured bobbin which is on one of my pieces. It was around earlier. I can't remember which one now. Uh, this little peanut butter and spoon and then this one that says, uh, keep your chin up. So they will be going onto my jacket where I put all of my pin badges. Um, Kaylee Cross Stitch. Kaylee Cross Stitcher is very kindly doing tiny stitching packs. Um, and so I've received mine. I have not yet done anything with it because I definitely need to be able to concentrate for this one. Uh, it's a 56 count and some Invisifil thread. Um, you can't even see the holes. Um, and the thread is so fine. So I'm really looking forward to doing that, but I need to find a pattern that I want to do. Teeny, 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 tiny. Um, but you can, last I checked, they were still doing it you can fill in a form and wherever you are he will send you a little tiny stitching kit and if you would like them some uh susie b floss drops so cute um they're really cool they've also got oh can't quite see uh a space to put the brand and the color on the back so other stitchy kindness. Uh, one of my friends picked up cross stitch for the soul for me uh, in the work sale. The last thing I want to show is not cross stitch, but um, embroidery. I think in my whip parade, I'll have mentioned Jenny from Hope and Heart um, because I'm doing her hearts too embroidery which I'm pretty sure I showed. Uh, her packs, her kits are just beautiful. She's just launched a gingerbread Christmas tree decorations one and I had to have it and it arrived this morning so I thought I would unbox it here um, to show you how lovely the kit is. Uh, it comes in cardboard so you can recycle it um, or it's robust enough to keep your, your project in. I literally haven't opened this yet. Um, it does show you what's in the kit. So we've got four skeins of DMC embroidery threads, um, an embroidery needle, pre-printed felt, so you don't have to worry about tracing your pattern on or anything, um, and an embroidery hoop to hold it while you work. Um, really detailed booklet, uh, which I think she also sends to you digitally as well, um, and the foam and the templates for making it all up. So there's everything you need, um, except for scissors, a pen, and your tea and biscuits, uh, which she does say is optional, but highly recommended. So let's have a look. So here we go. We have a little four inch embroidery hoop. Uh, the Required DMC, uh, that is two of one colour and one of the other. 
ribbon for, for finishing. Needle with a beautifully shiny bit of wash tape. Uh, I've had a few of the different kits. This one has a much thicker needle for, for getting through your felt. Uh, we've got templates for the foam to go in the middle. Uh, the little guide. And then here's the foam to put in the middle of your decorations. And then there's the printed designs. Um, it's actually a really nice feeling felt because some felt makes my hands feel really horrible. Um, but these are printed up really nicely. Um, check out her Instagram for pictures and and little process bits, I think, of um, of getting these together. But they, her kits are just so nice to use. So I'm really excited um, to be doing those. As part of the year of sales, we're doing needle work November. Uh, so I'm gonna work on my embroidery pieces, which are pretty much all uh, Hope and Heart ones. Uh, I've got a Christmas tree kit that I bought last year as well, and I want to finish that too. Uh, embroidery always goes faster than I think it's going to, but I have to build up to do it because in my head it's going to take me longer. Um, and then um, as a little thank you um, and just as a bit of stitchy kindness, Jenny very it kind of included some stick and stitch um, flower patterns and these look really good fun. Um, I'm on the hunt for like a denim jacket or just a nice jacket. Um, so I'm trawling charity shops and things and I think I might have a go at um, embellishing it with these. I think that's everything. I have chaos all around me. Um, thank you for sticking with me. This has been about 40 minutes. I'm probably not going to edit it too much because I'd like to actually get it up. I'm booked on to the November retreat for Floss Friends next year, which is back up in Retford. We had a really lovely weekend up there. Um, my husband and my little girl came too. Uh, my husband informs me that Retford has many very nice pubs and he would willingly come back. Uh, so we'll be back next November. Um, there's also a really great games cafe, which I think was called the Leaky Teacup, but I didn't actually check. Um, they had a load of D&D &D stuff and um, we're playing D&D &D in person for the first time in two and a half years tomorrow uh, which I'm very excited about um, yeah if you're in the Sheffield Retford area go and check out the leaky teacup check out Candy Little Fox ah, uh, shout outs since I'm shouting people out um, big thank you to everyone who shouted me out I did see a couple of little spikes in the number of followers there's 175 of you already and um, I feel really privileged that you've come and hang out with me for a little uh, bit of time um, and share this little crafty corner of the universe. Um, massive thank you to Beth at Be More Creative. Go and check out her channel. She's been lots of little small, she's really great at finishing things. She's done some beautiful little decorations, which I think she showed in her last video. Uh, go and check those out because um, the finishing on them was just brilliant. Um, Charlie Feathers, who I mentioned earlier, is um, just lovely um, and did one of her videos while sat in her local woods which was really nice. Um, Lady Lugana, uh, Sarah I think, um, who I think is supposed to be selling Autumn Queen with us, um, has the most amazing collection of mirabilia patterns uh, and has a video on that, go and check that out. Um, there are so many more. I will mention more next time when I've written them down and can think because it is now nine o'clock on a Saturday night and it's been a very long day. So I'm going to go and try and get a couple of stitches, maybe maybe get a couple of bees done on here and, and get it close to finished. Um, in the meantime, the world is a really unpleasant place right now. So be kind to one another, um, be kind to yourself and Enjoy some making, uh, make a little bit of good, and I will see you sooner than three months, I hope.